Hi, I will show you how to scan, crop, condense large music scores into PDF files for your performances using your iPad. Alright, I have been in many situations when people have given me written music to read for performances and sometimes it is handed from a book or booklet, a bunch of loose music sheet photocopies all taped together with multiple systems or staves which can be a pain to read and handle accurately during a performance. It is hard to turn pages in one hand and the other hand busy on your instrument hoping that nothing will end up on the floor. Imagine using an iPad instead. It will make your music reading experience much easier, right? But how do I work with it? In this video, I won't show you a hack or a special trick. The only things you need are your iPad, your finger, and three apps you can get from the App Store. Geniuscan is a free app that is for capturing documents with your device to save them in PDF format. Cropit is a free trial app that works with PDF files in your device. You can resize, manipulate, annotate, and edit your files. Fourscore is an affordable app that is used to read music scores in PDF format and is very useful for live performances and such. Assuming that you have those three apps from the App Store in your iPad, Let's begin with the scanning process. Set up your iPad on a music stand near a table as shown in the picture. All set, I will press on the Genius Scan icon to open the app. As you can see, I already placed the first page of a music piece arranged for SAB and piano under the iPad. I'm making sure that the sheet is straight, even, and focused. Think of it like if you were taking a picture of the document under your iPad. Now we'll press the trigger white button on the side to capture the image of the document. Right after taking the picture, this orange dotted grid will appear in the screen over the document image. This is the cropping tool. You can handle it by pressing and holding in any point of the grid, but in this case, I chose the lower right corner to move the tool onto the spot where the image will be cropped. A magnified circle with a cross tool will appear on the screen showing the area of the document where your finger is pressing on the grid. I will repeat this action with the rest of the corners. I will try to enclose the area that will be under the grid for cropping. Perfect, now the grid is in place and ready for the cropping process. I'll start cropping by pressing use. And this nice enhanced PDF copy preview will pop up with cancel and save options above on the screen. I like it and I will press save. A little save to window will pop up. I press on new document and the main page of the app will appear on the screen with the created new document placed in the right tool. I will name the new document by pressing on the title field above the properties window appears. I'll press on the field under title and the keyboard will pop up in the screen and the red cursor will be placed in the title field. I deleted those numbers using the backspace key in order to type the name of the piece that I just scanned. I will press on the orange done on the properties window. And now we have our first page saved in the apps pool on the right side of the screen. I will press on the camera button on the left corner below in the screen to start a new scan. I will repeat the previous scanning process.
After pressing on current document, it will show up on the right side pool below the first page. I will continue scanning and saving the last page of the document. Okay, we are done. In the next video, I will show you how to upload this document into Cropit.